Another one called the psychopath. And I did nothing wrong other than buy the coffee. What would Sir Paul do if he was here? He needs security to walk around. <laughs> he can't even walk on his own. This woman just said I need to get butt fucked. He can't even walk on his own, mom. He was only a few feet away from me. And uh, the man didn't even have the courage or the wherewithal to say, you know, hi, hello, Richard, you know, and I would have said, hello, hello, Mr. McCartney, how are you? A few feet away, and he look, comes up the stairs, looks at me, he looks, you know, he knows I'm there, and then uh, with the police and some security, he says, uh, and who's going to take him like that? Some, something like that. And then he went up to the booth and bought a ticket or whatever it was. Took some pictures with some people. And then he left. Paul McCartney, mom. One of, one of the most famous uh, musicians on the earth. Can you believe they would submit or subject? Not that he did it on purpose, because he was supposedly there. He was there for his uh, stepdaughter's graduation. But I'm sure they told him, oh, you know, that nut, Richard Flores, or whatever, is sitting there. And, uh, you know, he might, whatever, right? Because the, the pigs want to insinuate something. And I'm sure that's what they did. Now, if he is who the person I always read that he is, he would have told the police, fuck you. He would have said, you know, and he would have come over and said, hello. What the fuck was I gonna do? Nothing, right? Hi. Okay. So that goes to show the mentality of the people. Okay, that goes to show. Remember, this is in a town where a Jew, a Jew, <clears throat> came all the way from Hawaii to kill John Lennon. Okay? A Jew. Okay, another fucking dark Indian piece of shit said something. When I met Yoko Ono, I said, hi, Yoko. She said, hi, you say my name like John, like that. And that was it. I said, oh, that was years. That was like 1985. And then uh, a few years later, I was walking on 14th and Broadway. And she walked by. I said, hi, Yoko. She said, hi. I said, she walked, and she kept walking. So, Yoko apparently is more of a humanitarian or well, at least she was, than what Paul says that he is. And we know that, right? Because Mark David Chapman is still alive. Haha. -ha. <clears throat> okay, that goes to show the fucking mentality of these fucking monkeys. How stupid they are. When I saw Sean, <clears throat> I wanted to tell him, listen, when you were uh, crying upstairs the day after uh, John was shot, your father, I was downstairs crying outside with you. And now you let the fucking police talk about me and my family like that. You're scum. 
Your father was shot by a white Jew. That even to this day, they would give their fucking white piece of shit credence over someone like me. Right? Because they're racist. And as a result, your father is dead. And Yoko knows it too. Paul knows it too. Richard Starkey knows it too. Okay? And even dead George Harrison knows it too. Who, the reason why I say dead George Harrison, because who was George Harrison attacked by? Another white deranged motherfucker. Okay? Who broke into his house and uh, stabbed him many, many, many times. Two white people. Okay? Not black or Hispanic. Okay? White. Okay, I'm on 45th and 8th. Fucking nigger, you spitting at people? Not you. Somebody else, apparently. You keep on, you're gonna get your balls cut off, you fucking fat fucker. Now, mommy, you see the violence? See it? Now, they try to give themselves a rational reason for being violent. See? There is none. Their level of intelligence is very, very low. And as you and I both know, that's why the world is the way that it is. Okay? Uh-huh. And shall it remain that way as long as they continue to be this way? You see? And then they get upset if you're smarter than they are. As we both know. Right, I'm now at the Marriott Marquis uh, lobby. Wait. Ed used to uh, work. And uh, on one occasion, I came up to here to stay in one of the rooms briefly with uh, Charles Rodriguez and uh, an Asian friend of his that was supposedly visiting from, I don't know if it was China or Japan. Uh, his friend had some marijuana and uh, Charles wanted to smoke some marijuana with him in his hotel room. Charles wanted to smoke marijuana. And uh, we stayed there for a little while. That was years ago. That was like 1990, uh, I don't know, 1996. 
Okay, the woman just left and said that uh, fellatio is being uh, performed. Fellatio. Okay, as you can see, they, they're still pretending that they're smart when they're... I don't know what to say. They're just going about their business, don't worry. If my voice sounds funny, you know why. It's all the uh, pollutants that are contaminating my body. Here I am. You pose with me? I want my mom to see that I'm with someone. The young girl just looked at the camera. Now she's leaving. Now they're not pretending anymore. <laughs> No more pretending. It's what I do. When they go too far, I take it up a notch. If they really go too far, then I have to take it up another notch. The niño no sabe nada. He thinks he's tough. Okay, the Twilight Zone, they, they brought the Twilight Zone back, Mom. I don't know if you've watched it. The police just went by. Um, I don't know if you've watched the new Twilight Zone. Uh, I don't know if it's on CBS or what channel it's on, but I know there's a new Twilight Zone series. Well, it's on cable. But imagine if this was Twilight Zone. Imagine. Right? Rod Sterling would show all of their behavior, what's behind their behavior, what they call crime, what they call insanity, what they call love, compassion. And you know, you would come to the conclusion that they're all insane. Look, 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 look. I go once to have sex, look. Okay? So, if everyone was watching it, The conclusion that you they would come to is that everyone everyone's insane and cruel and mean, evil, stupid, etc. No one would be absolved from the madness. No one. Not a single person. You feel sorry for the mothers pushing their babies in a crib because the baby's in a crib in a, in a you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a pram, but that's it. Remember, what they call mental illness, from what you read in the paper, is prevalent in, in, in the minds of just about everyone. More than it has been in many years say since, since the beginning of the 20th century. So what you read about mental illness now, no longer